Hey guys, in this video, I wanted to share with you how I use Adobe XD to create Pinterest pins whenever I post a blog post. Now, it's really important for you to create pinnable uh, images so that when someone goes and clicks on that uh, Pinterest button, the images with the words actually show up so that people can pin them. And so um, I've created a template basically that I will use over and over again each time I create a blog post. So this is an example of one for our cooking blog. And so what I'll do is let's say I have another um, recipe that I wanted to share, a blog post recipe I wanted to share, right? It's really easy in here. So I could put uh, basically the recipe name and you know, use the title that you'd obviously want for the actual file name in here. And I would go through, and these are all my templates, right? And obviously I would save this as a template um, so that whenever I'm opening it up, I can resave it for this. So I'll go in, and this is gonna be the title, okay, of the actual uh, file itself, all right? And so I'll go through that and do that. So imagine that I'm doing that. All right, so then what I do is in this, I've already created all the templates that I want to create. So it took me maybe an hour to create all the templates that I wanted. I can just delete these images in here and then go ahead and just copy from my blog. So I have another monitor that has a blog post I wanted to share on there. And then I'll just copy the image, right click, copy and paste. I mean, it's really that easy. Now, the limitation behind Adobe XD, because it is a tool, just uh, it's created, it's used for creating design mockups, right? It doesn't have a lot of like the fades that you have in Photoshop where you can do gradients and levels and saturation, all that. It's literally just a tool to create mockups. And so um, what I'll do is I'll go ahead and create images in here and um, I can I'll copy another. I just right click on my blog post that I just published and um, just right click copy paste. Okay. And then I have that. And so then I can go in here and copy this again and paste. Like it's really that easy. Um, so I'll go ahead and click on this, hit send it back. And there you have it. Like it is going to be so easy to make Pinterest pins now and make a ton of them. So instead of making a new one every day, I'll have a batch of them for uh, my recipe or for my for this specific recipe. And then what I'll do is I'll load them into Tailwind and use the interval uh, tool inside of Tailwind in order to uh, publish these about two or three days apart um, whenever I launch the pin. And I use uh, Jennifer Maker's Pinterest launch strategy in order to uh, launch my pins as brand new pins. So that's a totally different conversation altogether. But to create a bunch of pins, this is how I do it. I mean, it's really that easy. I just spend some time, create the template that I wanted to create. And then for every blog post, I'll just go in here and quickly, it takes maybe, 10 minutes after I create a blog post to go ahead and create um, about 15 or so different pins with different types of images and wording uh, that works for my uh, Pinterest board. And then that way I can get more clicks from Pinterest to my blog post where then I can create uh, more ad revenue. So I hope that helps one of you guys out there, but it's really easy. Oh, and let me just show you this real quick here. Let's say I wanted to export just this section or all of them. I can do control A, but let's say it's these that I want to export, right? So what I'll do is I'll do file, export, selected, and then I'll do JPEG and I'll do it. Um, let's say I do it on my desktop, right? And I'll create, there you go, my folder in here. I'll do it at 60% JPEG design because I don't want my files to be that big. Hit export. And then what will happen is if I go to uh, that, there you go. I mean, look how pretty that is, right? And then I'll click on this and then you can see um, the file size, it's about 148 and I did it at 60. And you can go lower depending on the quality. Um, obviously like Photoshop will allow you to actually see what the quality is, but I mean, this is just as good as that. Right. And obviously I would change the words to match whatever I need to. And that's just as easy as just clicking in here and typing. And on the right, you can just change the font. But overall, that's pretty much how you use Adobe XD in order to create um, Pinterest pins really easy in batch. And you can use a bunch of different tools in here, squares, shapes and all that. But overall, I just showed you the process of how I create it. Just spend some time, create your templates and then go ahead and save it as a template and then go create. Um, a bunch of Pinterest pins after you post a blog post. I hope that helps. If you guys have any questions or comments, please leave a comment below. And if you like this video, make sure you subscribe.